It's National Farmers Day and children of cocoa farmers will get free university education next year. That's the latest promise from Dr. Mohamed Ubaomi. But the question is, will they really? I'll tell you more right now. Tonight, flag bearer of the NPP, Dr. Mohamed Dubaomiya, is promising free university education for children of cocoa farmers. His comments come on the day when the country is marking National Farmers Day. The vice president was speaking to the chiefs and people of the, of the Tobrik constituency where he promised to reduce the burden on parents. Yeah, Koko ekuya fua. First no, na koko board ema omoma scholarships. Ah omoko senior high school koko board scholarships. Ah koko board ema omo eko senior high school. Ene free SHS ninti ubia ba eko senior high school free. Eninti abai afa. I dream say, Sika Sikana na yedi tuya kuku ikuya for umama fees no. From next year, kuku ikuya for umama kuku board ebe tuya umu university fees free ama u kuku ikuya for umma. So new policy ya eba ebe ma kuku ikuya for umma under. Cuckoo board or more program. That was Dr. Mohamedou Baumia who's explaining in that sound clip you just watched that the scholarship is a replacement of the Cuckoo board scholarship scheme made redundant by the Free Senior High School program. Now, stay with me. I'm going somewhere in this. Because back in May this year, Cuckoo board originally announced the dissolution of the scholarship scheme. In a statement, it said it will set up the Ghana Cocoa Board Education Trust, in place of the scheme, quote, that it says had lost its core purpose, unquote. The, national, the natural question then, really, is what is the trust meant to achieve? The statement tells us. Don't bother over that. The primary objective of the Education Trust, it goes on to say, is clearly to focus on providing essential primary school infrastructure in underserved cocoa growing areas. I'll say that again. The primary objective of the Education Trust is to clearly focus on providing essential primary school infrastructure. Let's see all of it. In underserved cocoa growing areas. Now take note of these words, or operative phrases, so to speak. Primary objective, essential primary school, underserved cocoa growing areas. So then, a few questions naturally pop up tonight for the NPP presidential candidates. When he said the Cocoa Board Scholarship Scheme was going to re be replaced by the Scholarship for Education or University Education, was he referring to the trust? If he was, is he aware that Cocoa Board does not indicate it plans to use the newly set up trust to fund university education? Perhaps you munch over that. Perhaps you already came to your conclusion. But let's say I am wrong for asking these questions. So I took the liberty to check the NPP manifesto. And I'll tell you why. It is this administration that made a promise and later told the people it was not fulfilled because the promise was not contained in the manifesto. So I had to double check. Guess what I found? Promises on the cocoa sector. Undertake a mop-up exercise to enroll any cocoa farmer missed in the ongoing cocoa farmers pension scheme. Strengthen Cocoa Research Institute of uh, Ghana. Let's take a look at the next one. In respect of farm rehabilitation project, engage and pay farmers directly to cut down diseased cocoa trees and replant the farms. Support farmers to scale up the annual treatment and rehabilitation of diseased farms. They're small. Continue to pay adequate compensation improve access to agricultural services, incentivize the private sector to invest in large cocoa plantations, initiate youth and women in cocoa farming program, encourage the use of Craig-approved high-value uh, crops as intercrops, 
ensure transparency and efficient service delivery to cocoa farmers and liberalize the input supply market. Plus, tackle the challenges of climate change, aging farms, pests and diseases. Are you still waiting to hear something on Free University of Education? Well, that's going to be a really long wait because my producers and I found nothing. Nada. Now, while we wait on some clarity from Dr. Muhammad Baumia, let's move right along now and have a chat with former executive director of the Peasant Farmers Association of Ghana, uh, Dr. Charles Nyaba. Doc, I appreciate you talking to us tonight, but what's your reaction to this promise by the MPP's presidential candidate? Thank you so much. Um, I think, uh, just like you said, uh, this is uh, very problematic. In the first place, we had similar promises, uh, promises in the past which never came to light. Uh, secondly, this is not also found in their own manifesto. So we think that uh, if you have uh, the second gentleman of the land who always on the several platform, fan of making statements which cannot uh, be found on any grounds, then we, we, we find it very difficult to believe that he actually mean his words. I say this because we has, uh, have opportunity of uh, encountering him on different plat platforms, on some promises. But later on found out that um, he actually uh, didn't mean it. So uh, for us as farmers, uh, it will be difficult for us to take care of these uh, promises very serious. Now, let's look at the earlier arrangement that was to provide scholarship schemes to cocoa farmers, children of cocoa farmers. Even with that, majority of most of the real children of cocoa farmers were not the beneficiaries. It uh, turned out that most of the beneficiaries, over 80%, were coming from workers of uh, cocoa board. The few uh, um, um, slots that were meant for children of cocoa farmers we went to owners of cocoa farms. Because if you look at the actual workers of cocoa, those people do not own the cocoa. The owners sometimes uh, live in the cities, they live in the capital towns, and then they then contract people who go to take care of the cocoa farms, and then when the harvest comes, they pay those people for the work that is done. So they are the real people who work on the cocoa, I and see. they are those who actually need those support. I see, Doc. I, I hear you say that the farmers should take this with a grain of salt, but if this was actually implemented, how helpful would it be to the cocoa farmers? Yeah, it will be because uh, there's nobody who would not want to be helped. Uh, because even with the pre-education uh, we have occasions where parents um, are not able to afford to take their kids to the tertiary institutions. So if this actual come to fruition, for us, we think it's a good thing. Who doesn't want free things? We will welcome it. But we cannot trust that uh, this will actually happen because we're just thinking that it's a, a, a statement on a campaign platform, which is usually very difficult for you to hold them to account for that. Mm, I see. Now, uh, the, the vice president has made the promise. We have put together, you know, the, the issues at hand, the fact that, you know, the, the scheme is indeed has been dissolved. Cocobot has replaced it with a trust fund. It said the primary objective is for it to be used uh, to improve primary education infrastructure in underserved cocoa uh, areas or communities. I mean, what was the vice president trying to do, in your opinion? Yeah, so that's why I, I think that he got it wrong. If, we, if you look at the trust farm, it's not meant for all cocoa farmers. It's underserved cocoa communities. 
So if you just make a blunt statement that um, the the incoming if uh, 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 the incoming president to be provided that uh, he's voted for um, children of cocoa farms who benefit from uh, free education, I don't think that is a, that is that is that is real based on what is in the cocoa board uh, own policy and what is in MPP own policies. So for us, we think um, certain times uh, politicians need to be a bit real and they shouldn't take people for granted. And to our colleague farmers, I don't think we should be too much excited about this because there are several grounds to suggest that uh, he doesn't mean it and that when he wins, when it comes to actual implementation, it will be possible. Very well, Doc. We'll leave it here. Thank you so much. Dr. Charles Nyaba is former executive director for the Peasant Farmers Association of Ghana. We've been talking about the latest promise the MPP's presidential candidate, Dr. Mahmoud Baumi, has been making to cocoa farmers. We are asking for clarity from the flag bearer. We look forward to hearing from him or his team in the future.